I had uh, been up here uh, about two years before that, and after this great session, I went back to Ohio and went to Canada to a bookstore, and I got The Collected Works of Billy the Kid by Michael Andace. It's this book about Billy, the last two years of Billy the Kid, that's written in all these different genres, none of them connected by traditional stuff. And after I got through reading this book like two times, I thought, can my students do that? So that was the model that I used to start getting students uh, researching a topic and then writing about it in many different genres, not just expository essays. I think that, you know, a multi-genre research paper, kids get all the, all the research skills that they get in a tr traditional paper, except they don't learn to write um, a lengthy expository monologue which I don't know that a lot of teachers are paying much attention to anyway when they write traditional research papers. So, and they're much more drawn to this uh, multi-genre papers because they can, you know, they got so much freedom in choosing what they write, which isn't to say it's hands off, because I'm in there the whole way showing them genres, sub-genres, giving them little starts for writing. Well, you know, I, I don't teach high school kids anymore. I teach uh, college kids for the last, I don't know, four, uh, 17 years maybe, but, um, you know, recently I've been exploring the literature-based multi-genre paper where they read a book, a novel, let's say, that they love. I always give them the choice to choose what they love, and they write a multi-genre paper about that. So I got a website, um, actually, I can't, I don't know how we'll get that on your... We'll put it on here. Okay. Yeah. Just do it it's got about five multi-genre papers by college kids on there. Yeah. But, you know, this is, I mean, I've got a, I've got a second grade teacher in Ohio that I'm going to NCTE with. She's been doing multi-genre with second graders. Yeah. So it's, it's completely the, through the curriculum. What are some of the genres she's doing it with second grade? Uh, with um, she's having them draw uh -huh. a picture. She's having them do a little biographical character sketch about a, a person that they choose from history. And, I, and I'm hoping that she leaves it open for the kids to choose a genre too, uh -huh. of their own. Yeah. What's the importance of choice? Yeah. That, that um, that drives the whole thing, I believe. Uh, even, even if you uh, are confined to writing about a piece of literature, let's say, I think if the kids have choice in what they write about that piece of literature, that can make all the difference. I feel like I got a little bit of freedom. I mean, they did, you know, when I went to college or uh, grad school at UNH, they didn't choose my dissertation topic. I chose that. So. I think it makes all the difference. Well, I, I think you you gotta learn about it, and you gotta it's gotta appeal to you, right? And then I think if it if you got those factors involved, it helps to come up to a place like UNH and maybe take a class in multi-genre and write one. But I think the basic thing is there comes a point when you have to take a leap off the diving board and see what multi-genre can do in your classroom. Let me say while you're thinking. Um, and, and this is driven by, I, I believe that writing in the world is a mural, not a snapshot. And I, and I, and I want kids to experience as much of the mural of writing as they can.